Venezuela has gone through so much in recent years. Since 2013, their currency, the Bolivar, has gone from weak to devalued to worthless. You can't even find cash anymore. It's a mess. People cannot get what they need and the restrictions are getting worse. People are fleeing the country in all directions. New leadership, which is backed by the US, has been unable to actually make any reasonable change. Those in control are desperate to move quickly on yet another country and bring it to its knees. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to look at what is going on in Venezuela. This is one very important country to watch. We've been seeing the progress. I've been tracking it here on this channel. We have watched the currency being devalued further and further and further. It's very difficult to do so using official numbers because they're never going to tell the truth. It's not just in Venezuela, but look at basically every single country. Take a look at what the Federal Reserve does in order to measure inflation. They use something called the PCE. When you see the PCE, it is actually not a representation of inflation that individuals experience. It doesn't include most of the factors. And if you look at it, when it's at 1.6% or 1.8%, you have to think to yourself, what world do these people live on exactly? Because most individuals do not experience inflation rates of 1.6 or 1.8%. It is nowhere near that. It doesn't even matter what part of the country you live in there's no way possible that that is realistic but that's the numbers they give you now what you can do instead is take a particular item or take a basket of items that you would buy every single year no matter what and you see how the prices rise or fall and then you can calculate it this way and there's actually a very good way to do this if you take coffee and this is just one example Venezuelan cafe con leche index something I show you here on the channel regularly I check up on it maybe once once or twice a month just to see if there are any progress updates and looking at this it's directly from Bloomberg they provide this and it basically is tracking hyperinflation one cup of coffee at a time I like this because you can't lie about it you can't really mess around with it now it's only tracking coffee there could be a disruption there could be some sort of reason why this is wrong but it just gives you an idea using this one particular indicator how high inflation is and it's a very common commodity. People are buying coffee every single day. You know this, it, you know, it's something that is relevant in many countries around the world. So it's not something specific to that location. Using something like coffee is actually pretty good. So if I scroll down over here, you're going to see it. I mean, I, I can't even fit it onto one screen. But if you look at the top right corner, it says 99. Now that's not 99%. That's actually 99. 99,900%. So basically 100,000% inflation. That's annually. 100,000% inflation. And the new numbers were being provided here over this last month are showing that it hasn't moved much, but we'll see as time has gone on, this has really, really escalated. Now I've been covering this for years. If you look at it though on this chart, if we were to go all the way back into 2018, for example, it looks like there's barely any inflation but throughout this period of time I was showing you how it was going up further and further so if we were to zoom in on this area it would actually look like this but then when you back out much further like we are today it looks flat but that's only because in relation to the amount of inflation that we are seeing now it is nothing in comparison so it's getting worse and worse and worse okay just to give you an idea right here on December 2018 the beginning of December 2018 it's showing us that a cup of coffee is probably hard to tell but it's less than 500 okay today it's covered up over here but it's 5500 5500 and that was just over a year ago a year and a half ago let's say and it has escalated so dramatically there's no way that wages ever keep up in this environment people are suffering I don't care what type of information that we're being provided to suggest otherwise when you see something like this, you know there is a big problem. Take a look at this next article. 
This is what it takes to get one dollar worth of Venezuelan bolivars. So you could see the money that's sitting in front of you here. Look at this as you can see what they're talking about. I tried my fair share of ATMs in the past few weeks looking for cash. No luck. Most of the times I approached them only to see people walking out, putting their debit cards away and shaking their heads saying no cash. One of those times I tried to park in the lot near the ATM and the attendant warned me the fee was 1500 bolivars, cash only. You can't get cash and yet people only want to accept cash. That's the thing about cash these days in Venezuela. It's useless except for just a number of cases, some parking lots, gasoline and public transportation in which it's the only option you have. In some areas like the airport, there are separate cash registers, which means having cash grants you the superpower of skipping lines made up of dozens of people using debit or credit cards. Unfortunately for the people of Venezuela, it doesn't look very good for the future and that is just quite unfortunate. Feeling entirely accomplished after managing to withdraw the equivalent to $1 in bolivars today. You can see the stack of money there and it just shows you the value, how terrible it is at this time. They took off five zeros. So you're only seeing these bills that say 100 on them. It's because just previous to this, they had five zeros on the end of that. They just chopped off the zeros. And the reason they did that was they couldn't keep printing the money. So it's the same value essentially, except they're just chopping off the zeros. It's ultimately going to fail. This has never worked in history. In all the examples of hyperinflations, we've seen them starting to chop off the zeros and just, you know, the same things happen over and over again. So this one here is pretty serious, but at the same time, there's a little bit of underlying humor. I'll tell you why. Venezuela has defaulted on a gold swap agreement valued at $750 million. And who's it with? Deutsche Bank. Prompting the lender to take control of the precious metal used as collateral and close out the contract. So now Deutsche Bank actually has a little bit of value under it. Can you believe it? Because they took it from Venezuela, who apparently defaulted on this gold swap so there's more into this i just found it interesting only because deutsche bank is involved this company is just seriously hemorrhaging and they're dealing with venezuela in this case and they actually were having to deal with venezuela in this way so things have really come a long way and that isn't a good sign out of money venezuela's reserves are at a 29 year low you can see their international usd reserves just going down further and further that's the lowest since 1990s so this chart brings us back all the way into the 90s up until today and it's just been constant i mean over the past decade essentially this has been dwindling and it doesn't really look good at all for the future because of every aspect here we're talking about the economic side we're talking about the monetary side and of course this as well Exclusive. In secret recording, Pompeo opens up about Venezuelan opposition, says keeping it united has proven devilishly difficult. So the information that's in here is always taken with a grain of salt because we don't know what is actually real stuff. We don't know what's being used as propaganda and so on. But ultimately, there is this huge outside interference that is quite obvious. They're not really hiding it. They're making it known. If you have read John Perkins' book, I read the original original and now there's a new updated version which I haven't read but regardless if you haven't read it then definitely you should this is very important because it tells you the playbook right now they're trying this quote-unquote diplomatic method that is probably not going to work then they will have to go in and maybe send in the jackals and we'll see if they actually do so the world is watching at this time but there have been many reports that Russia is starting to pull out if that's the case if that's true we are going to see a big change in Venezuela and probably not for the better you know I'm not inside Venezuela I don't know what's actually going on but it is just suffering and everything that's been tried so far has only made it worse that's all for this video if you found it informative please give me a thumbs up when you give me a like on these videos you're supporting me and this channel so I do appreciate that very much if you want the financial education you were not taught in school these two books have everything that you need all the details foundation the history the asset classes tax incentives so much more check it out at the link below if you want the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com 
Wait a second, don't go anywhere. You need to watch this video. We are talking about what is really going down. Click on it and I will see you there.